What's up my friends? Welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Here we are with Asirio, Cassandra, Cole, and Solus. We are still underground here. We're trying to get to the rift and close it. Before we head through the caves here, let's go ahead and just grab these books. I do want to keep you guys up to date on what I actually did because I did respect Ace because the stamina regeneration actually may be a thing now that we are assassin because these abilities here, you know, they cost a lot of... Uh, Stamina to use. And not only that, I'm wondering, the hidden blaze here, you would think that since it's actually being thrown at the target and it goes kind of all over the place, I wonder how this actually works with the Bozoon blade. Would I need to be behind them and then throw it? Or does it even matter? Because you think it's hitting them forward in the back to the side and then to the other side. So. Is it actually nullifying the upgrade with Bozoom Blade having to hit the enemy in the ass? Or is it just still working? I mean, I don't really know. It's a good, I mean, it's kind of, I don't know. It's a good question, really. I guess it's only one way to find out. So what I did was I got rid of this ability for now. And then I went over to the tree right here and I got Dance of Death. So... You regain stamina with every kill, the better to continue your assault. So every time we kill something, we get 50 stamina. And I don't know what the cap in this game is. I feel like it's like 25. So I calculated abilities out and I probably will end up getting this as well. Because it seems like Assassin takes a lot of stamina use. Anyway, so let's go ahead and just read this stuff and then get through it. This roadway was created by Royal Order of King Kelgag to link the Great Taig of Adukin with the Soren Taig of Gundar. It pleases these cities to join these roads with a hall in the middle and to dedicate that hall to Paragon Hakat, who discovered principles of nature that let us find structures of unheard of height and astounding breadth. Let his renown be as eternal as the stone he shaped. Inscription on a plaque found on an abandoned dwarven road beneath Crestwood. All right, well, interesting enough. Paragons known and lesser known. The criteria the dwarves use to name a paragon never ceases to fascinate me. While a relatively rare distinction, it seems almost any achievement of significance warrants the title. Some paragons are the victors of great battles, others write books or songs. The only common tread in this act that betters or sustains the dwarven ray of life in some notable fashion. A dukin is among the oldest and perhaps most famous paragons, not to be confused with his descendants. King Endrin Adukin, this prior Adukin, was a humble member of the warrior caste whose Brave leadership during the first blight saved Orzammar. When other Tigs were lost, Adukin claimed defeat, but his service made him a hero. History now remembers Adukin as the quintessential paragon. Other paragons have been more controversial. Keridin, the master smith, created the powerful Gullums, who helped the dwarves immeasurably in the battles with the Darkspawn. Keridin then disappeared amid much speculation, taking the secret of his craft with him. There is also Asset the Grey, a paragon of the warrior caste. She was famous for her skills in unarmed combat and cut out her own tongue to focus on the art without distraction. An order of female dwarven warriors known as the Silent Sisters persists. They remove their tongues in her honor. But these are the most well known of the dwarven paragons. Others have earned the rank over the ages and far less noble pursuits. I found reference to paragons who made their name writing particularly good rhymes or brewing strong ales. Then there's the paragon named Varen who separated from his legion and lost his way in the deep roads. Varen nearly starved to death before breaking down and eating a nug. Believed at the time as appetizing to dwarves as a rat, devouring a creature not only saved his life but opened his palate to a new world of flavor. When they finally found him, Varen was fatter than ever and raving about his miraculous subtitles of nug flesh. The creatures are now considered a dwarven delicacy. From the Stone of Halls of Dwarven by Brother Jenna TV, Chantry Scholar. Alright, interesting enough. Good little dwarven lore there. We got a uh, paragon Varen named Paragon because he found nugs to be a delicacy. And I don't know. Wonder what nug even tastes like. Chicken? Everything tastes like chicken, they say. 
Oh, we can't get over there. All right, well, let's get out and close the rift. Let's see if actually anything did update with the journal here. Bill Waters. Closing the Fade Rift in the flooded caves under Old Crestwood should stop spirits from possessing corpses and attacking the village. All right, well, let's get to it. Something to consider with this build here, friends, and it's going to be a learning process for me because it's been quite a long time. And not to mention, you know, I did bring up multiplayer quite a lot because I absolutely love the multiplayer. The first year this game came out, I didn't even play the game. I played multiplayer first. But the thing is, with the assassin in multiplayer to single player, it's very different. You know, they add like other abilities from other specs to certain multiplayer characters. So it's gist of it is kind of the same, but it's still different. And the pathing for single player is incredibly hard, actually. It's very hard to actually line stuff up in single player because of, you know, stuff like this coming in, you know, backstabbing off of terrain like this is actually quite difficult to get. Sigil of the Gamordian Stormrider? 10% electricity damage, 50% from all over? What are you, fucking crazy? Oh my I god. I sense one of the artifacts of my people. Do you? We'll get it eventually, I think. Calm down, man. Solus is a trove here. He's got all types of stuff. All right, well, let's get up to this rift. It's literally like right there. So let's knock it out and then get the hell out of this dank cave. Even though I absolutely love these damn dank caves though. Deep Rose is like my favorite. I'm looking forward to the Descent DLC, friends, when I actually we get to that. It might take about a year, but we'll get there. <laughs> oh, here we go. Demons ahead. They don't understand it here. They want to destroy everything. Well, let's whoop their ass, Cole. We need to upgrade her taunt a bit more because the uh, range for it is kind of, kind of low. Our ace looks like he marked a death. Oh my word! Did you want to kill that the guy right there? All right, let's disrupt the rift. Let's get back in the stove. Oh, totally missed. Hold on here. We need Solus. You know, I don't think he can do... Let's see if he can just get this one. There you go, Solus. Anything's better than nothing, friend. Stone fisting. Come here. Where do you think you're going? I don't think so. What's up, AC? How are you? Cole's over here hitting Blade. And... Oh, my word, Cole. Nasty mother effer you are. Our ace just put him all to sleep. Let's get back to Solus here. All right, well, they're back up. That's fine. Get the stealth. Can't see me, sucker. There we go. Shattered, suckers. Back in the stealth. Oh, come on, you. Solus, your uh, the spell up, it sure is. Let's get this one. More coming. We're ready. Damn right we're ready. Get over here. Solus, hang in there, friend. You're all right. Let's Veil Strike. Ace over there wrecking, look at him. Sit down, stone fisted. We don't really have anything all cool down here. We need the knuckles, friends. Oh, that hurt. Damn. Holy. What happened to us? My word. You want to get up, Ace? I'm sleeping on a job here. All right, let's get Cassandra on board. Get a tone whenever she can. All right, get back to Ace. He's hurting. Oh, 
You know what? Mark of the Rip is getting dicey. Getting really dicey here. Sit down, Pleb. Back in the snow. Back in the snow. Oh, come on. Get out. That didn't go bad. Axe of green edges, 168 damage. No One more hit. demons in the dead. The people will be safe now. Let's tell the mayor. They were hurting and we helped. Their lives are better because of us. Damn right, Cole. What's up, Cass? I think I got something for you. Oh, you got a basic ass bow, friend. Axe of green edges. Oh my word, it blows it away. Here you go, Cass. You mightily definitely deserve that. Solus, you alright? Cole approved, friends. There you go, Cole. Such a good damn soul he is. Oh, you got a good soul. The Axe of Green Edges. You see all that damage in there? We need another ability though, friends. We need, I'm telling you, we need the Knuckles back. No matter what, we're going down that tree anyway, so we might as well just suffice to get one point into the Knuckles because I plan on, we need, let me just nerd out a bit more, come on. Because we need this ability here. Could you imagine? While in stealth, shortly after leaving it, your attacks ignore some of the target's armor. 50% friends, armor penetration. Can you imagine that 50 fucking percent added on to, what was this one again? 25%? Oh my word, Ace is going to be fucking destroying everything. Literally. So what's the harm in going over there and getting knuckles? Yeah, I do want to get the... That's a cool ability, man. I do want to get the, uh, what is it called? The one over there. What the fuck's it called? <laughs> that one damn Billy over there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? The damn execute. What's it called? That one. Yeah. Fuck it. We gotta look in there because I don't remember what it's called, damn it. Death Blow. I do want to get Death Blow. I think we'll get Death Blow and change out knockout bomb and then we'll get the knuckles because i want a damn filler and knuckles regen stamina whenever you hit something i need it for them shatters because mighty blow or twin fangs ain't always there friends solus all right man come down here take a regen you're getting your ass whoop well that went well i mean ace got wrecked that shade was whoo he, he was sitting should be harder for tears to form here. He was hitting cast, but man, he cleaved us like a fucking boss. But that's the price we're paying for not having uh, poison weapons. I don't think we need poison weapons, friends. Eventually, I'll have, I'll be able to give him regens, and everybody else is gonna have a AOE regen at some point. So, what's the point of the poison weapons late on? I mean, you might even consider taking it off your companions later on too. You might not Where even are need we it. Going? Feel a draft. There must be a way out nearby. Oh, I don't know where the hell we're going. We're just wandering aimlessly. Hold on. All right, let's get on Ace here. Get on our little duster. Oh, there's Nugs galore over here, friends. Look at all of them. Cute as can be. Hey, Nugs. Nugs seem to like it down here. This must be the first time they've seen people like us. I wonder what they make of the giants passing their home. <laughs> Don't eat me, please. Or get the fuck out of my home. You're uh, disturbing my rest type of thing. Or God darn, you're ugly. I mean, you name it, Solus. They're probably thinking it all, friend. Did you see that fucking elf there? Look at him. Idiots. That's what they're thinking. Is there anything else about? I feel like there should be more mosaic pieces around here. 
Inform the mayor that the rift is closed. There we go, friends. We pretty much saved Crestwood here, then. All things considered. That was a pretty tough rift, man. Very fun, though. I'm not gonna lie. I had a chance to dispel that last rift a bit, but I kind of didn't want to. I wanted to bring more demons on. I wanted to test ourselves. Instead of getting rid of a few of them rifty nodes. Ooh, there's another rift out here, actually, I think. Holy! What the fuck? That a big... Look at these skull heads. What are they? Giants? Gotta be. And it's got a fucking... The baffling thing to me is that there's a fucking cheese wheel that damn big to fit on a giant's head. Holy... Wish we can eat it. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Oh my word. Crazy, friends. Where's, uh, where's everybody at? You guys alright? Hold on, what's this? Keep out. Keep out, don't come in. What's up, Cass? I'm gonna need you to run out here because it's good to get dicey. I'm pretty sure it's a, yeah. Uh, Pretty awesome fucking rift, friends. Look at it. So beautiful out. Oh, yeah. Cassandra's here, mother efforts. Get out of the way. You get out of the way, too. You ain't gonna hit me. Let's just get cast on here. Look at Ace. He's pissed. He's wrecking him. Look at him. See ya. Get back in the still. Good night, sucker. Easy fucking peasy. I'm not even dispelling. I want more. Hold on. Let's go ahead. Mark this one. Go into... Oh, we can't go into stealth. So let's... That. Hidden blades him. She'll be done for. Oh my word. Fucking annihilated, friends. Did you see that? Oh my. Solus, need help? Oh, you need help too, friend. Back in the stealth. Back in the stealth. <laughs> Assassin is so fucking badass, man. You can go into stealth so much. It makes me wonder if we actually need flank attack. I want flank attack, obviously. But do we need skirmisher, I wonder? What's the other upgrade for skirmisher? Because we go into stealth so much and we're going to be killing so much shit. What does the other one do? Your flank attack leaves targets of the blow still bleeding from the cuts. Your dagger's fine. Huh. We'll see how it goes for now. But honestly, we may even may even just get rid of flank attack. I don't know if we actually need it. Because we go into... St I only used it before because it was an 8 second cooldown. 7.6 second cooldown now. And you can technically go into stealth every 7 seconds. And now, not only that, if we kill somebody, it resets our stealth anyway. It's something to consider, friends. Something to definitely consider. I know, obviously, we can put poison weapons there, but I just don't care about that. I don't think it's that much... Well, we're taking damage, but I like it hard. All right, let's get back to... Ooh, Spinning Blades. That's a pretty cool ability. Kind of hard to line up, but it's really cool, actually. Hold on, there's a Royal over here somewhere, and we... need the seeds, friends. For sure. Come on, baby, drop the seeds. Oh, you son of a bitch. There we go. We just got elf root seeds, but not the Royal. Son of a bitch. I'll have to farm the uh, hinterland area to get some royal seeds, but that's... It don't really matter. Alright, well... 
That would be that then. So let's go to Sister Vaughn, turn that in. Who is this? This is Crestwood's village. Let's go to Crestwood's village. We'll go to Sister Vaughn, turn that in. Then we'll go over to the little spirit over there. Turn that in. Here, we can get in here now. But I don't think we have deft hands, do we? Oh, you son of a bitch. There is an amulet in there for Ace. It would be nice to get, but... Doesn't look like we're going to get in there. And then we have this merchant oh. here now. We... I'm pretty sure this merchant... forget the Inquisition help from no one else would, I promise. Thank you, girl. Appreciate it. Death route right here. We could have just kind of, you know, did the uh, area there and then got death route there. But it's okay. You know, we got our we got our specialization on. We didn't really need to do all that. But it's fine. All right, Dietrich, where are you, man? What What's do you that? mean the mayor's gone? He rode out an hour ago. We spotted him from Byers Field. He didn't even stop the wave. Maybe he's getting help. What for? The dead are gone. Mayor Dedrick's lived here 50 years. He wouldn't abandon us. He's been acting strange ever since the Inquisitor drained the lake. Interesting. He rolled out on his friends. Well, you can't inform him because he's fucking gone. Oh, right here. Letter of Confession, Inquisitor. It was not Darkspawn that opened the dam and flooded Old Crestwood 10 years ago. I did. In secret, the night they attacked the undead... You have been fighting our people I killed with my own hands. We taken in refugees from the Blight. Many were ill. We moved the sick to the lower parts of Crestwood and the refugees into the caves to stop the disease from spreading. It didn't work. One confessed he'd seen Blight sickness before. It was always fatal. When the Darkspawn attacked, I knew the only way the village would survive is if the Blight sick Round with the monsters. I cannot bear the sight of Crestwood now that the water is gone. I cannot stay. I'm sorry, Mayor Gregory Diedrich. A letter of confession from the mayor? It says he was the one who flooded Old Crestwood ten years ago to stop the blight from spreading. It's monstrous, but if it stopped the blight from wiping out the entire village. It is monstrous, but as we know from our travels through the other games, there's no cure for that fucking sickness, friends. There just ain't. You can become a great warden if you can. But that's also a death sentence too. So there's kind of just... What could he have done? I mean... I don't know. It makes you think that when times of blight... I mean, obviously things are very desperate. You get very desperate to try to save people, but... Your worship. We probably would have did the same thing. Ace would have probably did the same thing to try to save everybody else. I've already found the remains of the people who died in Old Crestwood. That's it, Andraste. I didn't imagine you'd look yourself. Thank you for your thoughtfulness. It is all too rare these days. I will prepare the bodies for cremation. All right, we'll have fun. Hopefully that helped. All right, well, that will be done. We need to come over here and get this damn locked door because I know there's something in there for the Inquisitor. The spirit in Old Crestwood should be pleased to learn that the rage demon stalking the flooded caves has been destroyed. All right, let's head over here and turn that in. And then... Crestwood's almost done. We can kind of make our way to try to get the Sen, but... Hey, take it easy, girl. Let me see what we actually have here. Where's this? Oh. Good deal of stuff still, but not really. Kind of bump and grab shit. Weeding out the bandits. A handful of highwaymen remain on watch at farms around Crestwood and should go the way of their brethren in the keep. That meaning dead. High stakes. Liliana's eyes and ears in the region... A spy named Charter mentioned that her man Butcher seems to be running a little behind. And that Hawk is over here. Beric has a friend named Hawk who fought Corypheus once before and now fears Great Wardens are under the influence of the ancient Darkspawn. Hawk has a Warden contact who may be able to say more. Well, we'll get to that later. Obviously not now. 
But for now, let's get over to this one. Turn that in. And then I kind of actually want to go back to Skyhold. Touch base with a few more people. I, I need to do war table stuff. I need to maybe craft a bit. I want to get to Skyhold in general because I love this Bozoon Blade. But I feel like once we actually craft the daggers that I have, the daggers of the dragon or whatever it is, they actually might outdo these ones. So we'll see about that. And plus, there is a few more things to do with Skyhold anyway. Come here, yes. dude. I'll whoop that demon's ass. The rage demon in the caves is dead, as you commanded. I had no doubts. Now that my sovereignty has been respected, I can depart this unchanging nightmare. Your reward. Use it well. Thank you. A spirit such as that could not leave here until it had proven its nature. So we have a amulet of power for ourselves, then. Give a little power for... Here it is. It's for coal. Ooh. I also put the cooldown modifier on Ace, friends. It actually worked out pretty good in there. Well, you did some serious damage. And, well... <laughs> I mean, you fucking seen. Cooldown amulet on coal? Yeah, definitely. Oh, he's got an amulet of cunning. Let's put another cooldown amulet on coal, then. And then Cole has a level up. There you go, Cole. Cole greatly approved, friends. He approved of everything in this mission. I'm telling you. Sometimes you don't even need Cole with you. He'll just approve of everything. All right, Cole. Let's go ahead and give you explosive shot, friend. You just got everything, Cole. Mark of death, obviously. Knockout bomb here. No, because he needs his. He needs his other one. So we'll do. Mark of Death. He probably won't need Knockout Bomb. And then we'll do his uh, ultimate ability. Alright, let's head on back to Skyhold. We need to check in with the Trials here because we have gotten that a quite a long time ago. Alright, well let's... Hey, what's up, Three Eyes? Controlled space. Helpful. Alright, I love how our people is just chilling. All right, well, let's check in with people. We definitely got all of the notes around Skyhold, I think, friends. We may have missed some, but we'll probably find it in our travels. What's up, Ken? Something is troubling me, Inquisitor. Liliana is receiving reports of mages becoming possessed, Templars going rogue. No one is dealing with these matters. I was hoping we might before they get worse. We have a lot to do. It's not our job. Well, of course, if people are going rogue and it's uh, making your life difficult, so let's just deal with it. We can certainly look into it. I will mark these incidents on the map as I learn of them, Inquisitor. And I would be pleased to accompany you if and when you investigate. Damn right. Do you have any advice for me? Tell that demon. What does it call itself? Cole. Tell it to leave. He may not mean harm. But that does not mean he will not harm us. Spirits are not creatures to take at face value. Be cautious with him, Inquisitor. That's enough for now. Another time, then. You know, I was half expecting Cass to have the, you know, the, uh, the book cut scene. Yes. That must mean we don't have enough approval That's with her. That's enough for now. Another time, then. But it doesn't matter because once we actually do some of these, like, where are these at? There's one in the Ferelden place. Another one in Western Approach. Probably by the time we get the Western Approach, we'll have that on then. Or even maybe that one, because she greatly approves of it. Anyways, let's go ahead and keep on going. Let's hit up the people in the bar. I actually really want to talk to Dorian, friends, but our approval with Dorian is so high that I want to do his personal mission literally right after he gives it to us, and we're coming to an end here. Going well, I hope. But I really want to talk to him, man. I miss him. What's been going on? Madame de Fair said hello to me. Or maybe she was waving at someone else, and I just thought she was yeah that's probably what happened you're awesome harding take care i fucking love harding man she's so damn cute you better be a damn companion in the next game damn it i'm telling you what's this we well, definitely already read that what's up mirrodin our inquisitor a title hard to rhyme a challenge for another day i think forgive me my distractions eminence 
I'm overwhelmed by you and what you've done. My name is Meriden, a humble bard. Oh. What do you bring to the Inquisition? A simple thing that you know well. The power of a muse to rally hearts and minds. Inquisitor, I want to spread the word of what you've done. A small but vital role. Perhaps I'll also make a coin or two. Are you a bard, like those of Orlais? Oh, heavens no. I'm a minstrel first. My weapon is a cutting tongue, not blades. I hope my skills will help in some small way. If only I can give your deeds their due. Well, thank you. Carry on, then. Oh, I will do my best, Inquisitor. There we go. All right, Mirrodin, we definitely already read this, too. The funniest thing I've seen in years. That cat dancing around, hopping and pouncing like a fool. Made my day bright, it did. Maker knows what got into the little rat catcher. Cole's deeds again. Hey, man. Cabot. Inquisitor. What's the word out there? The admirals of the Felicissima Armada are disappointed the Inquisition is primarily inland. I wonder why. As you were. Inquisitor. Take it easy, friend. Have a good one there, cabbage. Brem, you got anything? Your worship. Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the chargers? Nothing jumps out at me. If I come up with any ideas, I'll let you know. We'll talk later. Take it easy, Chromisius. What's up? Look at Bull. <laughs> what can I do for you? He's just chilling. Nothing. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. Well, the fucking Bull ain't got nothing either, friends. We are lacking on approval, man. I'm telling you. Oh, we got Sutherland still. We need to deal with, obviously, at some point. Whenever we get a chance to actually hit up the... Uh, you know, I'm missing all kinds of dialogue here. Bloody. No, not bloody. Think of the carpets. Thank you. Oh, we missed it, man. Whatever it was. I know they talk about Hawk at some point there, I think. Right. What's up, Sarah? How are you? Look at her. Hey, you. I have an Inquisitor favor to ask. Just a little thing, really. A little march around for some of your people. It's nothing for you, right? Resources are precious. I'm listening. Details first. Well, I'm listening, Sarah. Come on. All right. Let's hear what you've got. Jump right in, huh? I like that. It's a Red Jenny thing. I got a tip that some noble stiffs are arguing over Vershell. Land squabble. They're getting little people beat up. So I need you to go to your big table and send some people to walk through town. Just walk through? Just walk through. Easy, right? <laughs> All right. Was this a tip from one of your friends? Not a Jenny. Just normal angry people getting sick of being in the middle. I don't usually hear about things this far away, but having a friend like you is like getting really big ears. Bigger ears, I guess. Shut up. <laughs> Who's asking for this? I'm asking because I heard people complaining. See, when nobles fight, it's not them. It's their little people stuck in the middle. It's like a polite war, so no one pays attention. But if you march through, the people up top feel threatened too. Stuff like this is always happening. Good sovereigns to be made if you're one of the few who notice. What does the Inquisition get out of this? Nobles think everyone is out to get them. So when your helmets march through, both sides will think the other's your ally. Both get scared, both make deals. Worst case, you get a little bump among the people just because they see you active. Can't promise anything, but something will happen. Just like always. Something will happen just like always, friends. I can't do this now. I have people look... At it? Well, I guess we'll have people look at it, sure. All right, Sarah. I'll have someone look into it. It's fun, right? Being important without doing a thing. Well, not much of a thing. Not everything has to be torn skies and ancient assholes. Every little thing makes a difference somewhere. You have anything else, Sarah? Come here. Demon armies and wardens, and Varric has exactly who we need. The big talker just knows everything. Damn right he does. Why did you really join me? Yeah. So you like to have fun. The Inquisition seems an odd fit. Why are you really here? What do you mean? To help people. Seems like there's more to it. Are you really sure of that? I don't believe you. I mean, it seems like it's more to it though, Sarah. I feel like she's in the Inquisition trying to convince herself on something, but just don't know what. 
It's starting to sound like you're looking for something more. It is. Mostly. Okay, fine. There's talk, and... I want to see. See what? I don't know. I just... I've got all this Chantry stuff in my head, and it makes sense, right? But it's... fuzzy. I want to see if it's all really real. I just don't know if I want to really know. So I'm selfish. It's all for me. Count yourself lucky, I guess. I don't think anybody really wants to know. People want to know, but do they really want to know? I mean, that is a damn good question. Are things playing out the way you expected? Cassandra laid it out, right? You're the big hat now. Gonna make everything the way it should be. The praying's nice, I suppose. Corypheus bit, though. Shite. Corypheus. 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 Sack splash. I know his name. Doesn't deserve the respect of me saying it, does he? Corypheus. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. <laughs> Take it easy, Sarah. You're a fucking jewel. I enjoy Sarah. I won't even lie. I'm actually starting to really want to bring Sarah on more missions as we go. I actually want to bring her on more missions in Crestwood too because there's like Red Jenny stuff around. But I do want to learn more about Sarah, man. Because she's so interesting and I never really brought her that much in playthroughs. I greet you, Inquisitor. What's up, Air? You up here chilling with Cole? He hates it all because of the darkness behind the door. Some doors should stay shut. Well, keep that damn door closed, Cole. Tell me about your past. Here we go. I'd like to talk about what happened to you before we met. Before you, Reese was my friend. He showed me I was wrong to kill the mages. I thought I was helping them. Then he and Evangeline went to Adamant, and I went with them. I was worried Evangeline would hurt Reese. We found out dangerous things. It scared Seeker Lambert, and he scared the mages. It started the rebellion. Seeker Lambert told me what I was. Reese couldn't look at me. I ran until I found more Templars. That's all. When he says Adamant, is he talking about Adamant Fortress? You know, the mission that we got coming up pretty shortly. Is that what he's talking about here? Because I feel like I just don't ever know what he's talking about when he says Adamant. That's the only Adamant I know about, unless there's something else that I'm missing here. What can you tell me about Adamant Fortress? It is old, full of sadness and pain. It should be torn down. The veil is thin. We found a demon there. It had touched a man and made him real again. It scared Reese and Evangeline. The man wasn't supposed to be real. Then the demon found us. It put me back in the cupboard on the bad day. Reese and Evangeline saved me. Well, there it is. I mean, he said Adamant Fortress. There probably isn't another Adamant Fortress we know about, but Adamant Fortress is a warden kind of stronghold now, friends. If it's a reference to the books, I just can't remember. It's been so many years since I've read these books. I did read Cole's book, but it's been so long, I kind of just don't remember a lot of stuff even in there, friends. You said Seeker Lambert told you what you were. I'm hiding Reese from him, but he chants words and sees. I won't let you hurt Reese. My nose explodes, a shower of blood. Just another parasite that's wormed its way into our world, feeding off all the things you can't have. What we found at Adamant made him angry. We were the first rock rolling at the top of a mountain. He had to stop us. He killed so many. He didn't care. Cold. Corrupt. So I came and killed him. You whooped his ass. So Adamant was a secret fortress, yes. Now I'm getting it. If you hated Seeker Lambert, why go to the Seeker Fortress? Because he was right. I was a demon. I saw demons at Adamant. They put people in the dark, in the old hurts. I didn't want to be that. I heard the old songs of the Templars at Val Royo and followed them. If I forgot, fought, fell to felling, Templars would kill the demon. I wouldn't hurt anyone again. They put them in the old hurt. Oh, I love your words here, friend. What was the spire like when the Mage Rebellion started? Dead and dying, begging and bloody. Some wanted freedom, some peace, some war. Some wanted it all to stop. Evangeline was a 
Templar. But she helped Reese help the others. She set them free. Adrian was a mage. But she killed mages to force the fight. She wanted blood. Reese just wanted to help. To stop people hurting. Maybe that's why he saw me. What can you tell me about Reese? He was a mage. He saw me when most couldn't, and he remembered. He helped me, and I watched over him. I worried Evangeline would hurt him. She was a Templar, but she didn't like hurting people. When I left, she stayed. Now she watches over him. They should have been with the rebels. Maybe they ran away together instead. Neither of them like killing. If you like, I could use the resources of the Inquisition to locate your friend. No. If they are alive and safe, they should stay away. The last time he saw me, he didn't want to look at me. He saw a monster. Let him forget. Oh, uh, come on, Cole. You need friends, man. If we can find these people, we we'll definitely want to find them. But, I mean, he doesn't want us to find them per se here. But maybe he does, kinda, in his own little way? What did you mean when you said you killed mages? Some of the mages at the Spire wanted to die. Too sad, too scared, too much. I didn't know what I was. A ghost, I thought. Fading in the fade. When I came to them, they could see me. I used the knife to set them free. When Reese found out, he made me stop. Made me understand. There were other ways to help. I didn't know. So he didn't really know, but he went on a kind of a killing spree, but he kind of didn't know. I mean, you set them free, you're a murderer, you made a mistake. I feel like he made a mistake. Ace will feel like he made a mistake. He we can't call him a murderer because he doesn't know. If you don't know, but well, then again, you could kind of say it's a damn excuse for people that's a killer. But I feel like Ace would, I don't think he set him free because, well, he technically did set him free. But he does seem like he has remorse on what he did. I would think it was a mistake, though. It sounds like you didn't know what you were doing. No, I killed people. I knew. I just thought I had to. They were hurting, helpless, haunted. It was all I could do. It was wrong. I was wrong. If I start again, you or Cassandra or Cullen need to kill me. Backstab with your name on it if you start again, Cole. I'll talk to you later. How do you know? <laughs> but I don't think he will. Cole is a damn good soul, friends. He's a kindred soul. Well, we got Assassin's sure. Hat for Cole. We all did. True enough. All right, let's get over to, since we are up and about over here, <gasps> let's hit up Cullen real quick before we actually head out. Cullen, where the hell are you, friend? Hey, you having fun over there? What do you see? See Corypheus riding a dragon? Art in High Town. We will get to it. I swear. One day. Strangest Shut. thing. When I reached down, my dagger was gone. Just gone. Now where I found it? In a barrel. The thing was filled to the brim with daggers. Got the strangest feeling. I know someone took it right off my belt, but... I can't recall who. Wasn't me. Motherfucking Colin. Inquisitor, I've found where the Red Templars come from. They're in full redoubt. The knights were fed Red Lyrium until they turned into monsters. Samson took over after their corruption was complete. How do you know Samson? He was a Templar in Kirkwall, until he was expelled from the Order. I knew he was an addict, but this... Red Lyrium is nothing like the Lyrium given by the Chantry. Its power comes with a terrible madness. It's so crazy seeing Samson in this position of power. Remember he was just begging on the streets in Kirkwall and fucking... Dragon Age 2? That takes care of Samson. I mean, that you would think it would take care of him then, Cullen, right? Samson's armor was glowing with the stuff. They'll go mad soon enough. He seemed clear-eyed at Haven. Even so, the deluded commander is no less worrisome. The Red Templars still require Lyrium. If we find their source, we can weaken them and their leader. 
You want vengeance, good thinking. What's your plan? Well, what's your plan then, Cullen? Where do we begin? Caravans of red lyrium are being smuggled along trade roads. Investigating them could lead to where it's being mined. If you confront them, be wary. Anything connected to Samson will be well guarded. All right, well, we have Codex on Samson. All right, let's go. What is this door to? Where does this lead us, friends? We got fucking Superman down there in the barn still. We need to talk to him. Oh! So let's upgrade the area here. Let's kind of take it in for a second. So we have the Inquisition symbol here. And then a sword, obviously. This is a wolf. The symbol of the Dread Wolf. And there's another Dread Wolf. This has to be Chantry stuff here. Has to be. This symbol up here, it kind of almost looks like Kirkwall. But maybe not. Maybe that's the explosion, Kirkwall. And then this is Chantry stuff. And this is has to be like an elven god. Balandin, maybe? Maybe not even that. I don't know what that is. But this over here is definitely Corypheus because you see the tall magister. But this right here, I don't really know. Very interesting, friends. All this art. It's something we should definitely discuss because I don't really know the meaning behind it all. But it's definitely interesting. Alright, let's head on to the... What's it called? The garden. Set that up real quick. And then I want to go and get the trials reward because I'm going to do some crafting. Upgrade. Here we go. Upgrade the garden brings hope to all who seek it. A functional upgrade that brings a potential resource gain from inspired, including gold from Thais. Upgrade the garden by committing a space in simple greenery and cultivation. A functional chance that allows more herbs to be harvested. Well, we're definitely doing that. Where weather grows, the simple scent of sprigs anew in furrowed soil. We're on the vine and yours is mine, a bounty blessed by honest toil. Though brave in war and ways we are and wander thus in victory. It's on the vine where yours and mine are graced with health and history. In home and hearth and battlefield our sustenance is common held. If on the vines are yours and mine and always there we are compelled. Returning home is not retreat when home is why we fight at all. And on the vine is yours and mine, entreating in our heart they call. So of the boons you cannot buy, there are but two we're certain of. Not on the vine of yours or mine is first the cost of truest love. And that denied a person's price, we turn our gaze to what's in hand. And of the vine are yours and mine, Tomato from our land. A garden's grace songs of the field collected by Mirrodin Haywell. Interesting Mirrodin. What was this? Just more stuff. Alright, well we have our gardens upgraded now, which is very good. Let's go get this trials reward real quick and then we'll head out on that note. Hopefully it's something good, friends. Come on, cross your fingers, yeah, legs, toes, hair, eyes, whatever it is. Cross it all. Oh, we have the thing here we can probably do. But that's something I want to wait for after Dorian's mission, I think. Unless I should do that before. I mean, it really don't matter. Come on, something good, baby. Tempest Center. I guess that works. But we had some... Hold on, what's Tempest Center? We already had it. Is it an upgraded version of Tempest Center? 53? Might be an upgrade. Probably not. Uh, level 4? Maybe not. Well, we'll probably this. Oh, we've got stuff here. Alright, anyways, I'm going to save here, friends. I'm going to do a little bit of... Come on, take it easy, Dagna, before I come over here and hug you. I'm going to do a little bit of crafting off camera. And when we hit back, we're going to probably touch base with more people around Skyhold here. I want to actually talk to Dorian next episode. Possibly get his mission on board. And then deal with that. And then after that, we'll probably go back to Crestwood, finish that up, talk to Hawk, and then go from there. Anyways, take it easy, friends. Have a good one. Stay safe. And I will see you next time. Take care.